It's not the mighty Mississippi, not the sunshine in LA. It's not a snow capped Rocky Mountain on a warm summer day. It's not the glow of a full moon shining in the night. There's nothing grand about a canyon that holds a candle to your sight. Most beauty that I've seen is you. fall behind when all the weight you carry is weighing on your mind I'll be there to show you all the things you're missing and everything we go I'll be by your side So I run away to far away places Escape from this life we have known Your eyes are new worlds to discover Your heart is the place I call home Try to make it quick. All right. All right. Even first and most important, I promise to guide us down the path God has laid for us and to look to Him in all aspects of our marriage. I promise that I will protect you, protect our marriage. Even you are my home. No matter where life takes us, I'll be there and I won't leave you. Um, and knowing who we are, I can't foresee a straightforward path. We're gonna have wild dreams that will take us places we never thought we'd end up. Um, and through every unpredictable path we take, I promise to sacrifice in order to keep your dreams and our dreams achievable. Even I'm so grateful for you, you've changed me. <laughs> and. You've made me the absolute best memories with me. And you've given me love and happiness beyond anything I've ever expected. I will not take these things for granted. I promise to appreciate the person you are and the memories that we share. I promise to respect you and to be faithful to you, to make time for you and listen and understand you. 
you deserve these things undoubtedly, Haven, because you are the most beautiful and animal woman I've ever met. Your smile is what I look forward to in most of my days. Um, and when I see you happy, I'm overcome with joy. I don't ever want to see your smile fade. And because of this, Haven, I promise never to give up on your happiness and our happiness. I will do everything I can to make you smile and provide you true happiness. And finally, Haven, I promise that one day we'll get a dog. <laughs> Haven, I'm in love with you, and I will do whatever it takes to keep these promises. It is such an honor to be standing here with you. Uh, you are such a beautiful person, inside and out, and it is such it is such a privilege to become your wife. I promise to honor and cherish you. I promise to treat you with the utmost respect. I promise to grow with you and to change with you. I promise to be on your team, always cheering you on. I promise to be there by your sides during the ups and the downs. Hmm. I promise to laugh with you and to make you laugh. <laughs> Today I stand here in front of our family and friends and I promise to love you for the rest of our lives. I wish I could kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> I know every day is a new adventure And sometimes you may feel like giving up But you just gotta look back and remember what I'll pronounce you husband and wife <laughs> Boom! <laughs> 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 Maybe I will. 
who's destined for philosophy, leading leftist ideologies at the Paris Sorbonne. Dreaming of the splendid demise of the societies we despise at Café de Flore. Last one for me. I didn't think it was going to happen. Um, he was the last one born by 15 minutes. Last one to get married. Okay. You know. Um, so I'll, I'll try and keep this a little bit short. You know, sometimes when you meet somebody, it's you just know, right? And when I met Haven, I knew. I know. I don't think you did. I did. And I was. I was thrilled. You can't can't give him back. He's yours. All right. Um, but in all honesty, you know, I couldn't be happier, and I wish the best to both of you. You know, you're fantastic together. Maintain that throughout. All right. But best of wishes. We love you. Thank God you you came along. I was worried. <laughs> All right, so to start this off, you saw him cry. <laughs> We're twins, so we share a lot of the same emotions. We deal with things the same way, so um, I'm going to try to get through this without blubbering. <laughs> I'm expecting it. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, so some of you experienced and some of you I've heard the tale of my brother delivered a 
first line of his best man speech at my wedding that was pretty unforgettable. So, like twins sometimes do, I'd like to copy it, but make it better. So Haven, you are a beautiful bride. Um, as I've watched you guys go from friends to dating to engaged and finally married, um, I've seen you challenge Jacob to grow, um, but you've never asked him to stop being himself. Um, and that's something that I just haven't seen anyone do with him. Um, everyone wants to make him his not goofy, fun, crazy self, and I really appreciate that about you. Um, and that's one of the things that I really think is the reason this marriage is going to work, is because you are willing to let him be himself. Um, but you're also willing to challenge him and tell him to maybe the kitchen can be dirty today or <laughs> maybe I <laughs> can get some stuff messy. Um, and I love that. I really do. Um, so I'm really excited to have you part of my family. Sister. <laughs> <laughs> so Jacob, again, I'm, I'm going to try not to blubber. I'm really going to try not to cry. Um, Abby told me I just need to think happy thoughts. So <laughs> happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Um, I've known this guy longer than anyone in my life. Um, you know, pretty easy. Um, and we really haven't missed a moment in each other's lives. Um, we did just about everything together. Uh, we came up with crazy games like dodge baseball and played out in thunderstorms until we were scared the lightning was going to strike us just because one of us wanted to win. We broke a windshield. Um, we watched each other. Um, we watched each other for how to handle our difficult situations. Um, in every situation that was challenging, we looked to each other for help. We looked for each other to guide us through it. Um, and growing up, I really didn't realize the impact that we had in each other's lives. Um, he was always there. Um, and I didn't realize that until I got married. Um, it forced me to be apart from him. Um, happy thoughts. It forced me to be apart from him. Um, I went and I traveled, and I wasn't around him for six, seven months at a time. So it really showed me what my life was like without him. Um, <laughs> we weren't just glued to the hip all the time. Um, and it just made me realize how important he is to me. Um, he's the one who taught me to be myself, taught me to laugh, um, <laughs> in whatever circumstance, <laughs> even if I'm in pain. He taught me to laugh. Um, he taught me how to not let anger get the best of me when we would fight <laughs> and we would hurt each other on accident while playing. He'd chase me up the driveway, scream and yell at me, and I'd be scared for my life. <laughs> but as soon as we were done, as soon as the fire died out, we'd forgive each other and we'd move on. Um, so he really taught me how to move on and how to forgive people. Um, so being away from him just showed me that um, I'm missing a part of myself when he's not there. Um, so Jacob, as you travel and you go and find adventures with your wife, um, just know that I'm always there for you, no matter what. Um, if <laughs> I'm on top of the mountain, a mountain, and you're stranded in the middle of the ocean with your sails torn because you ran into a terrible storm, I'll be there, I'll find some way to be there the moment you radio the Coast Guard for help. Um, you're my brother, you're my longest friend, and I love you no matter what. So go have an amazing time, and I can tell you from experience that marriage will challenge you. It won't always be easy, but if you love her, you put her first, it'll shape you into a person that you really couldn't become without her. Hold fast to Christ, and you can't fail in that. Your blessing will be Jacob and Haven. Um, and with that, I'd like to give a toast. Um, this toast um, is actually from an Irish tradition. Um, it comes from my other family that I married into, um, but it's a good toast. So I'd like, uh, traditionally this toast is done with around tables and chairs. Um, so we're actually, I'm gonna sh change it up a bit and make this a little bit different. So if all the men in the room could just take a step forward I'm just kind of stand out from the crowd, just be a little bit forward here. Um, and it's easier because normally all the guys are standing up and the girls are sitting down. But Jacob, if you look around the room and you see all these men here, these are men who stand with you. Um, these are men who's, who will stand with you through your marriage, who will be there for you, not to tell you you're right, <laughs> not to tell you 
um, that everything that you come with us is your right in, um, but to show you how to love her. We're here for you. Um, we will always be here for you. So this toast is to Jacob. Cheers. Cheers. And then next, I'd like... <laughs> next, I'd like all the men who came here with someone, um, family, a mother, um, anyone, just to take another step forward. At this point, um, the, these people would have their foot up on a chair. Um, so, Jacob, this toast is actually to our mothers, or to our motherly figures in our lives. Um, they're the ones who taught us to love, who we learned from, um, who taught us to be men. Um, so these are to our mothers and to the motherly figures in our lives. Cheers. Now, for all the men who came with a date or are engaged or maybe uh, don't, haven't built up the courage to ask that person out, if you would take a step forward, another step forward. All right. Now, at this point in the toast, these people would be up on their chairs. So can't fake that one but so this toast is to the women in our lives um, who make us better who we sacrifice for um, who we are better because so these are to our wives and to the people and to the women in our life cheers and now all the men who are married I'd like you to take one final step and just kind of come in here <laughs> all right and finally, this toast is to the most lovely person here tonight, besides my wife, to Haven. She, you are a beautiful bride. Um, you shine tonight. Uh, it's <laughs> absolute. You're an absolute beauty tonight. So this toast is to you. Cheers to Haven. Yeah. All right. I love you, Jacob. Because I made it, I made it bigger, unlike Jason, so I could see it without glasses. <laughs> okay, I am, <clears throat> I am one blessed mama for sure. Life isn't what you expect, and but for the grace of God, you don't get what you deserve. I am beyond thankful to God for the opportunity He gave me to raise five awesome children. Jonah in progress. One of those beautiful children is who we are celebrating today: Jacob and his new wife Haven our newest daughter addition to the family. Jacob was my baby for a long time. Thought he was, but God saw fit to give me Jonah, who we are blessed to have. Jacob has been gifted with laughter, a fun-loving, carefree way about him, but a compassionate and romantic side as well. I love you, Jacob, and I'm proud of the man you have become. A few months ago, I had a realization. I was in church and looked over during worship and saw my son-in-law, Tucker, my oldest daughter, Haley's husband, with his hands raised and eyes closed and hearts filled with genuine praise for God. I got tears in my eyes watching that. Then it hit me. God had fulfilled for me what I told my mother in a conversation long ago was the most important goal I had for my kids, and that was that they would grow up to love and walk with the Lord and meet spouses who would do the same. What more could I ask for? happiness and security are something we hope for too for our kids but with God as the foundation the others will come God has answered my that prayer again and again with Noah and Abby Molly and Tyler and now Jacob and Haven Wow and on top of that all of their families are amazing and my kids have great a great second set of parents Jonah the pressure's on buddy <laughs> I am praying now for your future wife and finally, Haven, welcome to our family. You are certainly a beautiful, sweet soul, and I think a perfect match for my son. Your smile lights up a room, and I know you make my son happier than I've ever seen him. I'm almost done, I promise. <sighs> Marriage is not always easy or perfect. I know I have been married over half of my life. It is certainly an opportunity to learn who you truly are and how much you need God's grace. I mean that sincerely. God gives us a spouse to show us where we fall short if we are able to put pride aside and see it as 
and use it to make us better and be better husbands and wives. Jacob and Haven, stay committed and faithful to each other. Don't let the world pull you apart or tempt you to break a covenant that you made with God today. No matter what challenges you face, God's grace is sufficient for you, and you are an incredible supportive have a credible, supportive system of people around you who love you and are willing to give you advice and guidance. We are always here for you. I love you both so much and promise to pray for your marriage and for each of you individually. I will say that God blesses you, and if he blesses you half as much as he has me, you will be happy and successful. Enjoy the rest of your day and each other for the rest of your lives together. Love you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry it was so long. <laughs> Whether it's for better or for the worse, as long as we're together. After those last two, obviously it's going to be very difficult to top. Um, if you all know Jacob, he's a very, he can plan as well as anybody, but he's also as spontaneous as anybody I know. So I have nothing truly prepared in honor of his, his him being so spontaneous, okay? So, um... When Noah got married, I reminded him of a story when they were little kids. And if you, if you would have seen them, they were, they were so funny, these little buck tooth guys. They were just, they, they, they were so, so they're as cute as they could be. They really were. Um, but they hated girls. They hated girls. And we made a bet. We made a bet. And the bet was, and we had, I still have this on paper, that they would never, ever date, nor would they ever get married. So, you owe me, buddy. You owe me. Noah still not paid, paid me. Where are you, Noah? Where's my money? <laughs> but with that, with that, um, all the children ha have done so well in, in picking their spouses. Haley and Tucker are wonderful individuals. Abby and Noah, we love y'all, and y'all are amazing. Molly and Tyler. Just, just beautiful, beautiful kids, and we could not be more blessed for all of them to be in our lives. Jacob, Haven. I have said more than once that they are the male and female version of each other. They are so much alike. You know, it's, it's, it's almost it's uncanny how much they are alike. Guys, the, marriage is going to present challenges, and I, I know you've heard this. I'm sure you've been through counseling, and I'm sure you've done all the different things, and people have said that. It will be challenging. But just continue to keep God at the center of your relationship. If you do that, if you lean on the support systems around you, you will be fine. You will be fine. You've already got such a good base. My, myself and Shannon feel so blessed to have Haven coming into our family, uh, her family included. We, we, we love hanging out with them and talking to them. They're just amazing people. Our doors are always open. I know Randy, the same thing. His door is always open if you need <laughs> In moderation, his door is always open. Um, <laughs> but if you need anything at all, come to us, okay? Come to us. We love y'all, and we wish you nothing but the best. Okay, okay hi. Um, my name is Claire, and I am Haven's little sister. So, not really good at speeches, and I haven't been to a wedding in like eight years. So, I didn't really know what to say. Everyone just told me to... Uh, talk about my favorite memories with Haven, but honestly, I couldn't do that because that would be all of them. So, <laughs> um, that would take a while. So, I'm just going to keep it short because I knew you want a cake. So, I just want to say I love you guys and I'm so happy for you. And to Haven and Jacob, who are now married and swaggy. <laughs> Okay. Hi, my name is Sydney. I feel like I'm going to cry because I literally practiced this yesterday and I cried and I'm already crying. I have known Jacob since we were 13 years old. He's one of my oldest and most special friends. He is pure joy. He's honest, sincere, hilarious, and he has the best laugh. But in addition to these qualities, I have always been struck by his unique nature. He has an aura about him that is warm and electric. It just radiates love. 
He's got something so original, so Jacob about him. And it's a privilege to call him one of my best friends. I feel like you're really lucky to meet one person with that type of aura once in your life, but I've been so blessed to meet two. If you asked me to describe Haven in a few words, I would immediately start with sunlight. I would say wildflower. I would say original. I would say creative, authentic, and beautiful, and interesting, and funny, and smart. After meeting her, Haven quickly became one of the people I value most in the entire world. A twin flame, a kindred spirit, and a best friend. I am so happy that two of my best friends have found their soulmate. Someone to match their energy, to challenge them, to love them how they each deserve to be loved, to sail the sea together and make a life full of incredible stories, sweet moments, new memories. And I think I speak for all of us friends who stood by you on your wedding day. We are so incredibly lucky to have you two special people in our lives. You add something absolutely essential. We love you and I love you. And on a lighter note, may your future children be blessed with rich parents. <laughs> Cheers to the happy couple, to our best friends. I thought I knew what love was, I didn't have a clue. But now I see it clearly, it's you. Ha <laughs> ha 